In this video, we are talking about reproduction in organisms. There are mainly two types of reproduction found in organisms. One is asexual reproduction and the other is sexual reproduction. Different types of asexual reproduction is found in different organisms. Number one can be fission. Fission means the division of unicellular organisms into two or many individuals. Fission can be two types. One is binary fission and the other is multiple fission. In binary fission, when an organism divides asexually, it forms two organisms. That is why it is called binary fission. There are four types of binary fissions found in organisms. One is irregular binary fission. Second is longitudinal binary fission. Third is transverse binary fission. And the fourth is oblique binary fission. In case of irregular binary fission, there is no particular axis or plane of division in this case. It is found in amoeba. This is an example of irregular binary fission. In case of longitudinal binary fission, there is a plane or axis of division. The plane of division goes through the longitudinal axis of that organism. In this case, the euglena is dividing into two parts or two new organisms through the longitudinal axis. In case of transverse binary fission, the plane of division goes through the transverse axis of the organism. Such as in paramecium, the plane of division goes through the transverse axis. So here you can see that the division is going on through the transverse axis. In case of oblique binary division, the plane of division is oblique. It is found in ceratium. This is an organism where the plane of division is oblique. There can be more examples of these kind of divisions. The second type of fission is multiple fission. In this case, when the parent organism divides through asexual reproduction, it produces more than two individuals. In this case, the nucleus of the parent unicellular organism divides into many parts and each part of the nucleus contains the cytoplasm and becomes new organisms. An example of this is found in plasmodium. Now coming to the second type of asexual reproduction, which is budding. In this process, the daughter individual are formed from the parent as small outgrowth or bud which grows gradually and acquires the form of the parent. The bud gets the nucleus from the nuclear division of the parent organism. Example of budding can be found in yeast, hydra or it can also be found in tenia species where it is called strobulation. The body of tenia is segmented and each segment is called strobula and a new segment forms when in the neck of the tenia a new bud appears, a bud or it is called the strobula, a new strobula appears. This is how a tenia species grows in length. This is also a type of budding which is called strobulation. The third type of asexual reproduction is regeneration. In this case, it is found in different organisms. As an example, it is found in planaria. When a part of that organism is fragmented by chance, then this part can grow into the whole organism. It can also be seen in starfishes. When a leg part of starfish is fragmented, then this 
part of leg can form the whole starfish. Now, the fourth type of asexual reproduction is fragmentation. In this method, the body of the adult organism breaks apart into two or more pieces, each of which then grows and reforms the deficient parts to constitute a complete animal. What I have drawn here is a spirogyra. This is an example where fragmentation is found. Now, the fifth type of asexual reproduction is gamule formation. So, gamule formation is found in sponges, especially the freshwater sponges. So, this is a sponge. Sponge can reproduce through both sexual and asexual reproduction methods. In the asexual method, the sponge grows an internal bud which is called the gamule. The gamule looks something like this. This is the asexual unit of reproduction in case of these sponges. The structure is having some kind of cells inside it and the micropyle is the mouth of this structure. This is the outer layer or the outer membrane and it also has the inner membrane. These cells which is inside it, these are called the archaeocytes. These are the archaeocyte cells. There are some structures in the outer membrane. These structures are the spicules which forms the outer structure of sponge. The archaeocytes are totipotent cells. That means they can form the other types of cells of the sponges. That means a gamule can give rise to a new sponge. Now, the sixth type of asexual reproduction is sporulation, that is spore formation. Spores can be different types. Here, we will talk about few types of spores. Those are number one, zoo spores. Number two, comes the conidia. Number three, the chlamydospores. Number four is the oidia spore. And five is the sporangiospore. Now, the zoo spores are those kind of spores which has flagella and they are motile spores. They can move with their flagella. The example, an example of zoo spore is found in Eulothrix. Now, the conidia spores. Conidia is found mainly in penicillium. This is a conidiophore and axis to hold the spores. This axis is called conidiophore. This axis is holding the conidia, which are the spores. These are arranged this manner and these spores are the conidia spores. This is found in penicillium. The third is the chlamydospore. These spores are resting spores. But they have thick wall surrounding the spores. These are the thick walls and the resting spore is inside the walls. These are the chlamydospores. This is the thick wall. An example of chlamydospore is fusarium. It is found in fusarium. The fourth type of spore is Oidia. In this type of spores, a hypha is present, which is holding the spores. These spores are the oidia, which is connected to the hypha of the organism. These kind of spores are found in different organisms such as agaricus. The fifth type of spore is sporangiospore. In this type of spores, a structure is present to store the spores 
and this structure is a sac like structure and these sacs are the sporangiums which is containing the spores this is the sporangium or the sac which is containing the spores and these spores are called sporangiospores these kind of spores can be found in rhizopus and mucor this video was all about asexual reproduction in the next video we will talk about the sexual reproduction and for the full page photograph of this video you can go to the instagram page or the facebook page of mine which will be in the description and also tell me in the comment box if this video was helpful to you or not thank you so much